Yeah, it means to wear you out. That's right. Well, if I had my dictionary, I'd look it up. I looked it up before. The so attacks is to wear you out. Yeah, yeah. So you gonna tell me that's not oppression? You gonna tell me when you go uh, a, a woman illegally, because according to the scriptures, a woman is not allowed to leave a man, right? And take the children. But in this faggot ass country that we live in, a woman can go to court and the court will, will, will steal your children from you. And they'll take your children and they'll send them to the uh, child protection services. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and put them in a foster care. And there's all kinds of reports about how children are always getting raped in foster care. They're always getting raped up in uh, child protection. They're supposed to be protecting the children. They're in there raping the children. Why do you think they created that place? This country is created by pedophiles. All the, all the politicians are pedophiles, devil worshippers. Look, they got, we made a video on it already, but it's some statues down there. You see the statues? Right front of the state house, they got pedophile statues. A butt naked dude with his butt cheeks showing holding a naked little boy. And they, they got a, a, a woman holding a naked little girl. We got a, a titty showing and everything. Right in front of the state house, telling you what they all about. America is the kingdom of Satan. And America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. You got more to that? Anything? Yeah, I lost it, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's just, it's just distracting, eh? All this wind. Nah, they hate it. They just want to be left alone. Left to their wickedness. You got something? If you ain't got something, I got something. Um, this is Psalms 349. Have mercy upon me, for, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with grief. Yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief. And my years were sighting, sighting, my strength faileth because of my iniquity, and my bones are consumed. Yeah, that's how we feel. We feel like a, you know, a pile of shit all day. You feel all miserable, feel filthy and shit. Plus, you living in a hell hole. So we constantly praying to the Most High. Yeah. Go ahead. I was a, a reproach among all my enemies. We got enemies? What? Yeah, we surrounded by enemies on all sides. Ex but especially among my neighbors. <laughs> That, that's why the neighbors is the ones you gotta watch out for. Yeah, yeah. Why, why do you think uh, everybody got guns? You know, they say the Second Amendment is to, to protect you against the government. That's not what you got guns for. You got them guns to protect you from your evil ass neighbors. That's why people buy guns. Oh, uh, they didn't they rob your ass with it. But especially among my neighbors, and they fear to my acquaintances that they that did see me without from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of my out of mind. That's I am how like you, a broken vessel. Right, you feel forgotten out here. You know, you like you all alone. No, no me give a fuck about you. That's how you be feeling out here. Yeah. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my power. That's bad. That's Deuteronomy uh, 28 and uh, 66, 65, 64. Uh, life is always in doubt, day by day. You know? While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away yeah. my life. You know? life I trust in doubt. Right. My times are in, in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies, other nations, and Israel. Your neighbor. Yep, your neighbor. 
Scripture, read the scripture say, love thy neighbor, right? <laughs> love thy neighbor as thyself. But there, don't nobody love thy neighbor as thyself. Yeah. If your neighbor is your worst enemy. Yeah, the love of me and show wax coat. That's why, I do, you know, I was watching, I see some kind of study, and they said only like 20% of people know who their neighbors even are these days. Nobody talks to their neighbors. You know, back in the good old days, you go, uh, you get someone new, move to the neighborhood, you come and give them a pie, give them a pie, you know what I mean? Welcome, welcome to the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So nobody give a fuck about their neighbors no more. There, there ain't no kind of brotherly love out here. Like the brother said, the love of many shall wax cold. That's what you see, there ain't no love. No. There ain't no love out here, none. The only love you're gonna see is brothers teaching this word. The way we doing it. One day they told them, when they was on their journey, somebody took them in and let them stay the night. Yeah. No, they, was, they took them in and just let them rest their head or whatever. Proverbs on that, on a good friend. A uh, yeah. good friend is a. Uh, I got, I'll look it up when yeah. I get a chance. Yeah. Actually, I'll look it up right now. But these motherfuckers, man, you great. I mean, you just, man, I dare you to take one of these wicked niggas in your home, man. Oh, come on, man, you can stay tonight. You'll wake up, you'll shit if you clean the fuck out, man. You know? Before you wake up, you'll hear clean your shit out, man. Your wife here be pregnant. Your cabinets, here goes eat, eating all your food. That's how they do it, too. Boy prepared. He got glasses. He got glasses and a helmet. Yeah, some safety goggles. We like your boy Dusty up at GI Joe. Shit, this shit is crazy. He always happy every week. Got paid. Yeah, that's it. He's so crazy, man. Happy as a motherfucker. Happy go lucky motherfucker. I got a couple of scriptures on them friends. Okay, continue. Well, here's a good, here's a good one right here. Uh, right, right. Uh, Proverbs. That's the oppressors, man. Those are the oppressors. Proverbs 17 and 17. A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Like you saying, like brother, like when you gotta go on a journey, you gotta, you gotta do something, get caught up with some adversity. Right, there's a better one than that, though. Right. Oh, that's this right here. Proverbs 27 and 17. Iron sharpen of iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. I mean, that, yeah, it's good to have friends too to uh, to help edify you. You know what I mean? Like, like we wouldn't be able to teach very well out here by ourselves. I just came out here by myself. Yeah, you're very limited, man. Cause now we got artillery out here. We, we got the infantry, we got the cavalry. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? We got artillery, we got the, the air force. Oh yeah, the uh the constructicons. Right. 
<laughs> we like Voltron. Yeah. Yeah. You know, kick back and motherfucker come up here and start beating with one of us, man. Yeah. And we're gonna just be standing there looking. Yeah, it's like when Voltron, they, when they fighting that big ass monster, they, they, they shit weak as hell by themselves with just one little, one little lion. Right. They come together though. They come together. <laughs> they hit your ass with that sword like a ta 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 Oh, she's probably the bus can't be making too much money. She's probably the bus can't be making too much money. She's probably the bus can't be making too much She looks angry. Hey, I'm out. Yeah, what's up with the Jews? And that Jew downtown man was always on the bus. They love riding a bus. Money, yeah. Where did he live at? Uh, Bexley. Was it Bexley? Yeah. I have not seen him at Bexley. They love watching us. They some of these restaurants out here right here on Broadway. Yeah, you're right, cause uh, you're right. That's why you see the the so-called Jew uh, at where they really eat them, Mike. Cause they always live right next to the hood, like like Bexley. That's right next to the hood. They keep their servants close to them. They some shite, and, and they always try to uh, they always try to uh, make you think that that the, 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 the so-called Jew shares a similar fucking, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Right, 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 they, they try to make you uh, sympathize for them like, like they're the same as so-called black people. Like, yeah, they're trying to blend in. Yeah, yeah they, they share the same type of struggles as so-called black people. Right. You know what I mean? That's why you see them on the bus. They don't mind like Right. They, and they ain't struggling at all. They all rich. They, all you, you've been to Bexley, that's where they all live. You go to Bexley, it's like mansion, mansion. For like insurance policies or something? But who do you think owns the insurance company? That's crazy, man. They all go to college. Because so-called Jews don't work. Esau don't work. That's some dirty bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Psalms 31 and 6. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. Uh, I will be glad and rejoice in the mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities. And hast not shut me up unto the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my foot in a large room. <laughs> Garment taking you out. My times yeah. are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from them that persecute me. Where you at? Uh, Psalms 31 and 16. Right, because we praying to the Lord. He delivers us from the hands of our, of our enemy. We just went into one of the enemies. The Amalekites, Esau, the Edomites. They, 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 not only are they the devil, they oppress us. They try to say that they're the Israelites. And they're the chosen people when they're the goddamn devil. Right. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed. And yeah, let, let the wicked be ashamed. So we are out here being all we, the, we pray the wicked be ashamed. You know what I'm saying? Because the table's going to get turned. That's right. And let them be silent. Oh, 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 that's like, remember what's that scripture? He's going to make the, the Lord going to make the crooked places straight. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Oh, go ahead. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. They do speak grievous things. That, that's why uh, they don't say no like that. That's why uh, that. That's why in America that they, they allow people to even break the Ten Commandments. You, there's no pun. Here it is. It, it's legal for faggots to get married. And, and, and it's legal for a woman to commit adultery. That's an abomination. It,
Yeah, who? What does the scripture say? Here you go. The root two and eight. Yet now we not pray before the Lord that he might turn every one from their imaginations of his wicked heart. Wherefore the Lord watched over us for evil, and the Lord hath brought it upon us. For the Lord is righteous in all his works, which he hath commanded us. Yet we have not hearkened unto the voice, unto his voice, to walk in the commandments of the Lord that he hath set before us. And now, O Lord, power of Israel, that hath brought thy children out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand and a high arm, and with signs and with wonders and with great power, and has gotten thyself a name as appeared this day. O Lord, power, we have sinned, we have done ungodly, we have dealt unrighteously in all thine importance. Let thy wrath turn from us, for we are but a few left among the heathen where thou hast scattered us. Hear our prayers, O Lord, and our petitions, and deliver us for thy own sake, and give us favor in the sight of them which has led us away. Yeah, give us favor for thy own sake. Oh, go ahead, you got something? Go ahead. Yeah, all they're saying is they were scared. But they already knew what it was. They were scared of the transgressions. They went against the Most High. He's going to set the law to against you. He don't play no games. So they knew it's going to happen to them. So they pray, say, please, mercy on us. Yeah, have mercy. Have mercy on us, but you know what I'm saying? What he say go down. Simple as that. His word is gone. That's the spirit. He just got to Hey, you know the Lord too, he said he's not going to save us for our, our righteousness. He's going to save us because he made a promise. He, that's the only reason he's going to save us. Because of the promise. And if it was for our righteousness, what well, nobody could say. <laughs> We'd all be dust. Hey, I got I got I got a precept for that uh, Galatians. I got some words. Oh, well, actually, that Galatians was real long ago. This is long too. <laughs> <laughs> that all the earth may know that thou art the Lord of power, because Israel and his posterity is called by thy name. O Lord, look down from thy holy house and skin consider us. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, to hear us. Open thy eyes and behold, for the dead that are in the graves, whose souls are taken from their bodies, will give unto the Lord neither praise nor righteousness. But the soul that is greatly vexed, which goeth stooping and feeble, and the eyes that fail, and the hungry soul will give thee dear praise and righteousness, O Lord. Therefore we do not make our humble supplications before thee, O Lord, our power, for the righteousness of our fathers and of our king. For thou hast sent out thy wrath and indignation upon us, as thou hast spoken by the servants of the prophets, saying, Thus saith the Lord, bow down your shoulders to serve the king of Babylon, so shall ye remain in the land that I gave unto your father. But if ye would not hear the voice of the Lord to serve the king of Babylon, I will cause to cease out of the cities of Judah and from without Jerusalem the voice of mirth and the voice of joy, the voice of bridegroom and the voice of the bride. And the whole land shall be desolate of inhabitants. But we, but we would not hearken unto thy voice to serve the king of Babylon. Therefore hast thou made good the words that thou spakest by thy servants, the prophets, namely that the bones of our kings and the bones of our fathers should be taken out of their places. Ooh, that goes with Jeremiah. I never even knew, I just found a precept. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, number eight. Where am I? 25. And lo, they are cast out to the heat of the day and to the frost of the night, and they die in great misery by famine, by sword, and by pestilence. And the house which is called by thy name has thou laid waste, as it is to be seen this day. For the wickedness of the house of Israel and the house of Judah, O Lord our power, thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness, and according to all thy, that great mercy of thine, as thou spakest by the servant Moses, in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, if ye will not hear my voice, go ahead. surely this great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, where I will scatter them. For 
White knew that they would not hear me. Perfect example. Perfect example. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people, but in the land of their captivity they shall remember themselves. And that's why us coming out here telling you, Israelite, you're an Israelite. Waking them up. <laughs> he, that's Legion for real. Straight up, he's bugged out. That's all he knows. Lord, that's Legion for real. They only have it to me. They want to have it. I gotta hold this camera. I'm gonna record it. Oh, that really is leading. Yeah. And it and shall know that I am the Lord thy power, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and thief upon my name. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. Yeah, because uh, Israel's stiff neck. You're supposed to turn from your stiff neck ways. But we be out here, we read the scriptures. Y'all don't want to listen to the scriptures. Y'all claim like, I'm a child of God. God love me. What? No, no, he don't. Because you don't love him. You don't want to follow the commandments. Yeah, Lord, y'all say, Lord, Lord. But guess what? The Lord said, no, no. He ain't trying to hear that. Y'all talking about Lord, Lord, why you eating uh, pork chop? Why you eating bacon? Well, the Bible says you ain't supposed to eat bacon. Y'all out here committing adultery, women having five husbands, getting divorced, remarried, divorced, remarried. <laughs> you all polluted. You know what I'm saying? Pork chop covered with gravy and shrimp. Yeah, eating shrimp and all these abominable creatures. You know what I'm saying? Devouring your body because the body. The scriptures say your body's a temple. That's the temple of the Most High is you. So you ain't supposed to be devouring the temple of the Most High by putting all the unclean uh, foods in your body. And they love that bacon. They love that swine. They love to eat that swine flesh, don't they? That's an American favorite. That's an American favorite. Goddamn swine flesh. It's an abomination. That's an insult to call somebody a swine meat. Yeah, yeah, you call someone a swine. Swine flesh eaters. Yeah, you call someone a pig. Yeah, you call someone a pig. That's an insult. Right. You don't want to be called a pig. So why would you want to eat it? Yeah, you are what you eat. Didn't they teach y'all that in grade school? Right. You are what you eat. You know what I'm saying? You eat good things. You probably you. And we say it harshly, though. That's so you listen. Right. If we don't, we don't, if we don't speak like men, you ain't going to listen. So the scriptures say you ain't supposed to be eating no swine. You ain't supposed to be eating no shrimp. You ain't supposed to be eating no catfish. This is good for you. Like that catfish. This is good for you. Yeah, good for fish. Is good for you. Yeah, good fish. Salmon and, and some perch. Raised. You ain't supposed to eat no catfish though. Who said? The Bible, the Lord. God it's in the Bible. The Bible, the book of Leviticus says, you can't eat nothing out of the anything that comes out of the water. Does it say, does it say the Bible don't eat pork eaters? Yeah, yeah, it says, get it, Leviticus 11 and 7. So we don't want to eat catfish. No catfish. Why? Who said God? The Lord said the body of the Yeah. And eat all that I don't eat I don't catfish anyway. I eat regular fish. Well, fish is good for you. The Lord ain't fish. has the bones in it. You go out in the wheel when you go fishing. You ain't get it out of Sciota, did you? I don't even know what that fish going on. I don't know what it looks like anyway. I read that scripture. Listen, listen. Why is that good for you? Yeah, it's very. Come on, this thing eats it. I eat it. That's a guaranteed heart attack. Am I gonna die? Oh yeah. You gonna be a healthy for sure. You die. You gonna die. You gonna be just it's called your arteries up. You did. You just walk in there. Living unhealthy, pain. And then your body can't digest it properly. How about pop? Does that say that the body don't drink it? No, but we don't, we don't, it should. Yeah. They don't say pop. That's a common sense, though. They read that. Does it say don't smoke, eat, or do drugs?